Okay, so today I'm going to do the small pork butt, which is uh, actually the meat on top of the soldiers, the pork soldiers. And uh, this meat is uh, rich in fat, and it's the best meat for smoking because. Um, the fat makes it really soft when you do it everything well at the right temperature. Uh, so I think I got this six uh, six pound, I think like maybe five or six pound uh, pork butt. Uh, before that, I'm gonna show you the seasoning that I'm gonna use. So it's a uh, I'm gonna use some. Uh, black pepper, ground black pepper, and then uh, garlic, uh, garlic powder. And then I got this uh, buttery steak house, steak house, um, which I use it for steak, but I mean, sometimes I, I kind of use it on almost everything I do because I like the taste. Uh, and then uh, to put a little bit of extra uh, seasoning, I use the Italian seasoning. Uh, normally I use it uh, for like seafoods, but uh, I just put a little mix of it to enhance the taste. And then uh, the other non standard thing that I'm going to use is like uh, this is a uh, cumin powder, ground cumin, which I, uh, I buy the cumin seeds and I just brought it home. Uh, and then uh, this is a uh, kind of like an Indian spice thing. Uh, wholly depends, like whether you want the extra kind of little bit spicy thing on top of it or not. But uh, I kind of like the spicy seasoning. Uh, and then I want to use like uh, a full lemon, a full lemon. Uh, Kind of like a small one, but it's from my backyard, and then I really like it because uh, uh, things are really different. You pluck it fresh from the backyard, they're really uh, juicy. Uh, you can compare it I mean, like from the ones that you buy and then the ones you plant. The ones you buy, I think they come a long way from the farm, so it's kind of like a little bit dry, but the freshly plucked one from the backyard, really, really juicy. Okay, so I think I have some everything uh, and uh, this is what I have like kind of uh, mix everything like uh, I think a three by four uh, spoonful teaspoon of uh, the black peppers uh, half a teaspoon of uh, half a tablespoon of garlic and then a buttery another half a tablespoon of the buttery steakhouse and then uh, uh, like quarter to half uh, Italian seasoning and then I have another like half a teaspoon of these uh, uh, cumin seeds and my spiso another half a teaspoon of the spicy they call it the Lahori Charga uh, you can find Indian stores but wholly depends up to you like whether you like it or not uh, yeah so this is what I have everything so what I'm going to do like I can either mix it up right now or I can put the whole thing in a gallon ziplock bag and then mix it in there which is kind of handy I mean like you don't have to dirty your hands for it but up to you so what I'm going to do like this big chunk of me uh, I kind of like a really big chunk of meat, but this has kind of a cut between. So I'm going to just mix up the spice and then put it there so that I don't have to mix it. And it's kind of good, like, man, you cut it in between and then you are able to put it there. It's good. 
okay. So they say like every pound, it wholly depends on like how long you smoke it and then uh, what type of you, wood you use to make the smoke. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use uh, hickory chips. Um, it probably depends on like what people use or prefer. Some people, they prefer using like uh, apple chips. Uh, but I like the hickory. So I'm going to smoke this for like I mean, six pound meat for like I mean, six to seven hours. Uh, but wholly depends on like what the inner temperature of the meat is. I This time I really want this to be like extra soft, like pulled pork. Um, so if you want the extra soft meat, you have to make it like 190. But over the period that you are smoking it, You'll find like when the meat goes to like 145 degrees and then it stays here for a while. That's kind of normal. Uh, it tends to stay there. It's like normal, I mean like mathematical grub or whatever you call it. Um, and then after some time, if you don't open the smoker too much, it's going to go slowly up to the 190. Once it goes to 190, it's the right mark. You want it to be really soft and tender. You bring it to 200 or 202, which is kind of like really soft. But uh, I'm going to do something around 190 to 200, so maybe like 195 if I can go there. Um, winter is very cold and my smoker is really old. So maybe the insulation is not too good and it might not be able to reach it, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish the... Man, that's a big piece of meat. Love it. So I'm going to put this, oh, forgot. So before I put it inside, uh, what I'm going to do is like, uh, so I'm going to punch like holes into it. I don't want to cut into slices. I want to retain the big piece of meat. So I'm just going to punch some holes in there so that whatever marinade I use goes in there really nice. Turn it back once. Uh, the water is just from the water I use to wash it, that's fine. We don't need a lot of water because I'm going to put the lemon juice inside. So we don't need to put a lot of water. It's good that we drain the water right now. And inside the smoker, we're going to create a very humid um, environment so the meat doesn't dry because we don't want to eat like dry smoke meat. We're not making a jerky at this point in time. We're trying to make something really soft and tender. Hopefully, it turns out the way I want. Maybe I'll just rub it. Make things easier. Because when you have like a little chunk of meat, it's really hard to move it inside whatever jib log you got. So when you have the right sides, and positioning, just put the spices really nice so that it will be all over the meat. God, this is looking really good. Hope it turns out well. Everything depends on the timing, the temperature. So people say like grilling or smoking is an art. Because you need a lot of passions. It's not like you just put a chunk of meat on top of the grill and then you come out like half an hour later and you try to eat it. No. You need to have passions. So, it's like passions for everything. So you work, you do a job, you do something. You want something really nice. Wet for it. Okay, almost there. So I'm gonna put a little bit over here. Oh, it looks like my spice is getting a little bit low. It's fine. We don't like to over spice it either. I just want it right away. Okay. 
So I might have to use some terminal champ tomorrow because I wanted to stay together. Over the course of the small game, what I'm going to do, I am uh, going to use a remote thermometer to keep track of the temperature. So the only thing is like, I mean, you really want this to go up to 190. Okay. And like every two hours you do a smoker, you want to rub it with some, uh, maybe apple cider. So the meat is not too dry. My God, look at that. See, this is what looks like a six pound meat. Okay. So earlier, my plan was to put the lemon juice into here, but I think we don't need that. Everything is so well done. So I think I will just squeeze it over here. Look at that. Look at that. The juice. So juicy. That's why I like things grow in the backyard. It's kind of some work to grow things in your backyard. But when you rip the fruits, what it? Daddy, what are you doing? Mm. Doing some marinade for a small part. Then I'm gonna smoke tomorrow, and then you guys can have a nice test. So, okay, so I'm gonna close this, and then uh, just mix it up a little bit on the in a dip log bag itself. And then I'm gonna keep it overnight, like 12 hours or 15 hours, or however long you wanna keep it, it's good. Because uh, it's a big piece of meat and then uh, kind of hard also. Uh, so the longer you keep it, um, it tends to absorb all the juice. So uh, it's just a matter of time before I put this into the smoker. Um, yeah, so overnight I'm gonna keep it in the refrigerator for maybe like 12 hours and then tomorrow like 10 o'clock I'm going to put in the smoker. Um, let's see how it turns out. Cool. So here we have um, the marinade after like 12 hours. Um, I kind of tied up a little bit with a thermal thread because uh, some of the pieces were falling out a little bit, which I want to be uh, a big piece uh, of me. And then uh, for my smoker, there's a drip, drip pan, pan. Um, I just put that in a heavy duty uh, aluminum wrap. It's easier to clean up after, uh, after you use it. So I use uh, the tin one on the bottom and the thicker one on the top because uh, it tends to leak. I don't know, maybe um, the apple cider vinegar that I use uh, kind of eats into uh, the foil. So you, I use a thicker one. Uh, just a theory, I don't know. But uh, the thicker one seems to have resolved that problem. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to put it in the smoker right now. So I'm going to use these uh, remote props. Uh, since uh, the smoking is going to take a long time and uh, we don't want to open the smoker every now and then Okay, so um, I have the smoker and everything is set up. Uh, I have the meat um, and then uh, along with it we have the drip pan with some water uh, I'm going to add some apple cider later uh, maybe in a few minutes and then I have two temperature props uh, so that we can maintain a uniform temperature. Transmitter unit for the two props, right now 32 and 41 degrees. So two hours later, uh, we took the meat out um, at this point. It's only partially cooked. Um, and then uh, I used a handful of wood chips uh, to give the smoky flavor. And then I'm going to put this in an aluminum foil, wrap it up, and then uh, put it into the smoker for another three hours. Um, so it's going to take some time, but we want to get a temperature uh, up to 190 
or uh, somewhere near 200 to make it really soft. Um, yeah, so once I wrap this up, uh, I'm going to go back into the smoker and then uh, and just a matter of waiting before we finally get uh, what we want. So back into the smoker, uh, we have the temperature props in and then just a matter of the temperature going to around 200 that we have to wait maybe like three hours. Uh, we'll see. So almost like three hours and then uh, at 198 degrees, uh, which is kind of the preferred one that I want. Um, finally took it out and then I want to test like uh, uh, the softness, uh, the texture, uh, yeah, so I'm taking a small um, bit, hmm, hmm, it's good. Okay, so I finally took it out from the smoker. Uh, I use the aluminum foil and after that I take it out and put it in the smoker for like another half an hour um, get some more smoke and uh, here it is nice and big juicy and tender look at that and you can even take a piece out I just want to sew the softness and then uh, I have some of these so this actually uh, is the juice that comes out within the aluminum foil. So I um, don't throw it away because uh, I kind of like to put it on top of the meat, make it moist before you serve it. And then let's see. I'm gonna cut a little piece. supposed to use a cutting board though. Anyway. Oh my god. Look at that. It's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I'm gonna take a big slice out. And then test this out of my kicks. Cool. It's really, really cool. So I'm going to use a small plant. Ah, oh, I'm in love with this. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like it. Um, try it out and then enjoy the good food.